Hey guys, Matt DeWitt from MWD Adventures. Today we're going to do a little dimension video between the three trailers we currently have. We have three different trailers at this point. We have the Highway Deluxe, the Midrange, and the Midrange XL. So people ask, what's the difference between them as far as the heights? Does it really make a difference? Let's take a look. So the first thing we're gonna check is how tall the trailer is. I'm gonna start with the Highway Deluxe. So this one from the ground to the top of the roof is 65 and a half inches tall. So now I'm at my mid-range um, Deluxe that we have had for a long time. This one comes in at 67 and a half inches. All right, now for the mid-range XL, this one comes in at 71 inches. So there's definitely a big difference between the highway model and the XL. All right, now we're gonna look at the height of the fender. On the mid-range XL, it comes in at 35 inches to the top of the fender. So this is the regular mid-range. This one comes in at 32 and a half inches. So they tell us that the XL has a two inch lift, which would make sense because it's two and a half inches taller. So on the Highway Deluxe, the top of the fender comes in at 28 inches. So now we're gonna check out the ground clearance. On the Highway Deluxe, um, they put the wheel on the front because you'd have very little ground clearance if you had to have the tire underneath. It'd be very hard to get the tire off. Um, but to start with, we look at where this hitch lines up. This comes in at about 12 and 3 quarters. So I thought that that was the lowest point, but when I actually looked underneath, they have the mount for the spare tire under here still. So this is where the spare tire would go. and They have some bolts under there. When I look at that, it with those bolts hanging down, the clearance is only 10 inches. All right, so now we're taking a look at the mid-range. We have our spare tire underneath, so that definitely decreases the ground clearance. If you put the tire on the front, it would give you some extra. But with the tire underneath, it comes in at about 11 and a half inches. And the mid On the mid-drift? Yeah, on the mid-drift. On the mid-drift model. <laughs> On the mid-range XL, we do not wow, have... Wow, look at that sunset. Really? Yeah, it's beautiful. On the mid-range XL, we have the tire on the front, so that helps give a lot more extra ground clearance. From the bottom of the hitch, it's actually at 19 and a half, but as I looked under the trailer, I realized that the axle is actually lower than the hitch is, um, and that came in at 17 and a half inches. So take that into consideration when you're deciding on what kind of travel you want to do and the kind of camping that you're doing. So we talked about the overall height, but what does that really mean when you're looking at your functional space on the inside galley? On the Highway Deluxe, the top shelf is actually just about shoulder height. The middle shelf is a little bit below my hip and then the bottom shelf is about knee level. So this is much lower than what the other ones will be as you'll see here shortly. So come, let's take a look at the mid-range. So on the mid-range, remember on the other one, that top shelf was probably about right here on me. It's actually above my shoulder here. And this one's just above my hip height. And then this one's above my knee level. So it's definitely working its way up to me this feels like a more comfortable workspace than what the highway model actually was. And let's go take a look at the mid-range XL and see how high that actually is. So this is the tallest one of them all. This one, this is top shelf is definitely above my shoulder. The middle one is definitely above my hip and we're about mid thigh here for that bottom shelf. So it's all at a really good easy level to be reaching in and grabbing the things that you need without having to bend way down, especially getting stuff out of this lower level. If you're getting the side table, they now mount this little bracket just above the diamond plate. With that being said, on the mid-range 
it ends up being a little bit lower than what it would be on the mid-range XL because everything is up just a little higher. This is still placed just above the diamond plate, but because the whole trailer is set up higher, that means this is a little bit higher too. But we have not found that to be any issue or problem so far with our camping. Going to the XL now, one of the things we realized, there's more tongue weight there. Uh, with tongue weight, you can't just pick up the trailer and move it into my spot where I want it to when I'm camping. Um, that's definitely one of the things that we discovered with our first few outings with the XL. So it's not all roses, um, but it's a lot of fun. We love the trailer. It's just taking us a different way to set up the trailer, to be able to hitch it and get it right where we need to because there's no hip check-in like Wendy calls it to move the hitch in the front by the tongue. You just can't do that anymore. So we're consciously making decisions of where we're putting heavier gear. Some of the stuff's going to have to go and live um, in the back more so that we can distribute our weight better over the axle. Um, we noticed just coming home with all that tongue weight on the front that the back end was kind of bouncy. Michigan roads are notorious for bouncy trailers, so um, we don't want to be an accident on the side of the road. So we're going to have to work on that. But those are all things that come with a new trailer and a new adventure. What do you think in closing, what was the biggest adjustment with us getting the XL? Um, I think the height piece. Mm -hmm. um, it's not so high that my feet are dangling when I'm trying to get in. We checked out someone's extreme off-road and I went to sit in it and my feet were dangling. Yeah. And the wife was actually using like a milk crate to be able to get into it. And that was one thing that kind of exonate the off-road for me. Um, <laughs> but the XL, I do not feel like it's too tall to get into. I'm 5'8". I have to do a little bit of a hop to get in. Uh, <laughs> the mattress being six inches. Yeah. So the mattress being six inches, I have a little bit of a jump but, in there. But not five, anything eight. horrible. But it's nothing horrible. No, we haven't really had too many problems. No. Nope. So um, outside of that, yeah. Um, you enjoy the galley height. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems to be, yep. it doesn't appear to be too high or yep. feel like I'm having to reach up to get into that middle shelf, which is used the most. It's at a good height. And the cooking station, I think, is at a good <laughs> height too. We talked it about that. It might be a titch high for me, but I did ask them to do it to 36 inches, which is like normal counter height, and they measured it, and that truly is where it was at. But by the time then that you put your camp stove on top of that, it brings it up a little bit more. But it's very doable. Cool. All right, with that, we're gonna wrap this one up. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that notification bell and subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next one. Make sure you get out and, and do, do some, some camping. camping. See you later. All right, bye.